Annie Gramit blends art and science into one visually appealing game. Hi, this is Jen from TTPM, and I'm here with Annie Gramit, which plays like a crossword puzzle or bananagrams. But instead of using letters to build words, kids are using pictures to create different animals. And let's just jump in and state the obvious. This is one beautifully designed game. The pieces and packaging alone are display worthy. But how does it play? Each player starts the game with seven tiles, and each game piece features two sides. One side offers up images of different anatomical pieces of animals, such as beak or teeth, wings, fins, shells, and more. The back side of each piece features the word corresponding to the image, such as peacock feather will say feather on the reverse side. To start playing, kids can create different animals either down or across on the game board by placing tiles to create their animals. For example, you can make a parrot with the tiles ears, beak, eyes, and spine. These tiles together can also correspond to a different animal. It also comes down to what kids want it to be. But the key here is that as they are playing, they are also learning about the anatomy that makes up different animals and their classifications. Players can also expand off existing animals just like in a crossword to create new animals. There is no correct order to placing down your pieces, unlike in a regular crossword, to spell words. So how do you earn points? After each turn, players tally up their scores based on the number of tiles they've used each play. Then, select as many tiles as you played to make a hand of seven again. Play is also judged by other players on whether or not their pieces combine to make the animal they've named. Once all tiles have been used, players tally up their scores to name the winner. Overall, we feel this is less a competitive game and more a learning tool that teaches kids about biology and different animals in our world through a game-like design. The game is age graded 8 and up, but kids may need to have an understanding or knowledge of the different animals they are playing before playing them. Otherwise, we think parents and teachers can simply use the game as a teaching tool to create different animals, then offer kids a list of corresponding animals that the pieces create. For more information on this and other games, head over to our website at TTPM or subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great reviews every day.